Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and this is Solving Systems Using Elimination Part 2. Part 2. I can use linear systems to solve real life problems. The line equations will help me understand the world around me. So, yes, we can use algebra to solve systems in standard form. But what if the x's or the y's do not cancel out easily? What will you do then? So, yesterday's lesson. I'll bring up yesterday's notes real quickly. Everything we did yesterday, the x's or the y's were just set up and ready to cancel out. y minus y. They cancel out, cancel out. But now, look at this. The x's aren't going to cancel, and the y's aren't going to cancel. So do I just give up and start crying? No. There's another way to do this. So yesterday, we did the problems where everything would cancel out really nicely. So here's just a reminder from yesterday, or the last lesson. Right away, the y's are going to cancel. I'll be left with negative x equals negative 7. So x equals 7. I take that 7, plug it in. It gives me 35 minus 4y equals 7. Negative 4y equals negative 28. So I have 7 comma 7. Okay, That's yesterday, or the last lesson. But today, it's going to get crazier. 7, 7. But what if nothing will cancel? As in this case. So let's get our notes ready to go. Solving systems using elimination. Okay, get your notes ready. Oh, let me get my light to turn back on. Start with your name. Our title is Solving Systems Using Elimination Part 2. And the first problem we're going to do is right here. I have negative 4, actually I don't have positive 4x. Ah, skip that. Ignore that. That's, I know, it, I'm just turning it into a mess. I'm going to turn it into, I don't know what I'm turning it into now. I'm turning it into a, a funny shape. I'm turning it into a happy face. There's the happy face. It's like when you get a bad tattoo and later on you want to change it to something else and they tattoo over it and make it look good. Yes, that's exactly what I just did. And that's not a good analogy. Let's try this one more time. I have 4x plus 4y and I have 4x plus 3y And when we look at this, we realize nothing will cancel. But man, these guys are so close to canceling. This is a four and this is a four. If only, if only this was a negative, life would be so fantastic. We have to somehow get something to cancel. So how do I force it? 
Well, one of my rainbow poster things is that I can multiply both sides of an equation by the same number. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 1. I could do the top equation. So what does that give me? Well, nothing changed with the top equation. That's still 4x plus 4y equals 8. But now the bottom equation is negative 4x minus 3y equals negative 1. It was a big distribution that I just did. Negative 4x, negative 3y, negative 1. And now, Something will cancel out. You just saw today's lesson. Today's lesson just occurred right there. Everything else is old material. Let's solve it. Red marker of death and destruction. Do, 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 do. These guys will cancel. I'm left with y equals 7. I take that y equals 7 and I plug it in up here. So I have 4x plus 4y and that's going to give me 4x plus 28 equals 8 so 4x equals negative 21 This is wrong right here. No, what did I do wrong? Why isn't this working for me? Because this isn't 21. How about this? Let's try negative 20. There we go. Right? That's why you shouldn't like skip steps. Okay, I try to do it in my head and my head explodes. And dividing both sides by four. So x equals negative 5. So I have negative 5 comma 7, which is a physical point where the two lines cross. So we've got to get something to cancel out. Negative 5 comma 7, negative 5 comma 7. So here, what would you multiply the bottom by in order to get something to cancel out? So I'm really looking at this and I'm trying to figure out how can I get something to cancel? Well, if I multiply the bottom by 2, I have negative 4x plus 18y equals 22. This equation is now gone, and this is what I'm left with. And now I'm ready to solve it. That's today's lesson. Multiply by 2, and here's the solution. Let's look at this one. What would you do? Would you multiply the top or bottom, and what would you multiply it by? Oh man, those x's, those x's want to cancel out. If I multiply the top by negative 1, I'd have negative 7x minus 7y equals 14. This equation is gone, and now I'm ready to solve it. That's today's lesson. And there, I'm solving it. Ooh. Got lots of options here. What do you want to go away? You want the x's to go away? Sure, I want the x's to go away. If I multiply the bottom by 4, I get 4x minus 12y equals negative 24. And notice that the x's would cancel out. 
You want to make the Y's go away? Sure, let's make the Y's go away. If we multiply the bottom by 3, we get 3X minus 9Y equals negative 18. This is gone. And notice that the Y's would cancel out. Your choice. As long as you do something, it's going to work. Well, that's wrong. As long as you can get either X to cancel or Y, either one will still lead you to the correct solution. All right, that's it. Elimination part two. Thank you for watching.